All right, guys. Um, this is Herman again, and at this point, I think most of you know what is going on. Um, this is part of my drone. This is the uh, gimbal. This is my camera um, of my uh, Xiaomi my drone 4K. I was on a trip, vacation trip, uh, this uh, past week, and um, you know I try to fly my drone at night, and uh, it was flying good, but it was so windy, and uh, I couldn't control my drone at one of those uh, waves of, uh, of of wind, real strong winds, and my my drone collapsed. Uh, unfortunately, well. Everything was fine, uh, no damages to the uh, basi basically to the frame of my drone. But unfortunately, when it collapsed by the uh, by the sand, it hits. Uh, I don't know if it was uh, uh, something real bad or the way it falls. I cannot understand how it falls because basically the uh, two legs of the drone. Uh, the landing, basically the land, the landing uh, gears or whatever, it didn't suffer any damages. Just only basically the camera right here. Basically the most expensive part of the drone. I'm talking about 200 and uh, between 250 dollars uh, and uh, 320 dollars. The price of the drone is 500 bucks. You guys can imagine it's around uh, basically more than the half of the price or the price the half of the price of the drone but we're gonna try to fix it i don't know if you guys see this yet but i'm gonna try to fix it and for that we got the basic components we need for that uh i got the uh, camera <laughs> i got these uh uh tools i bought it in, in one of the hardware stores that is a special tool for the small uh, uh, screws and uh, different stuff we need for computers and electronics and also I got a a band-aid a band-aid the band-aid can do the miracle we can try that you know try to make it fine in this real hard moment for me because it's hitting me real hard well I got this Loctite that is a special glue for the kind of plastic we using right here in this uh, uh, in this uh, 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 camera it's not a, a, a regular special it's not a, a regular uh, glue we can use with this we gotta use a special glue I saw a video on YouTube guys uh, doing uh, different kind of fixes using super glue with a mix of uh, um, and a combination of baking soda uh, I don't know uh, how real is that I see some comments and uh, I saw a video of a guy fixing uh, part of he got uh, broken when his uh, drone falls on, on the ground and also he got a missing part of the uh, uh, of the drone, a little piece and with the uh, um, super glue and the uh, uh, baking soda he just basically did a mixture and uh, basically build up the rest of the missing part it's not, it doesn't look uh, like a real uh, professional but uh, <clears throat> like like the guy said on the video he just sanded it with 400 uh, sand and it's gonna give it you know a, 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 a nice finish like uh, you know it, you're gonna notice it but not drill but it looks it's gonna looks like a, a like a kind of a stain or something you're wrong it's gonna hard real it's gonna it, it, the, the surface is gonna be real real hard and the glue is gonna dry hard and everything is gonna be okay but uh, so far that's what I saw in the video. I'm gonna give it a try to this Loctite uh, glue. Uh, uh, you guys can see right here, it's especially uh, made for this kind of material. Hold on, let me see. 
um, do, 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 where I saw it is well it's especially made it for plastic bonding system but this one is especially made let me let me see if we can see it over here da, 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 da. okay uh, right here let's see advanced system for super strong rapid bonding works in all kind of plastic material including hard to bond polyethylene and polypropylene i'm sorry my pronunciation if i'm doing it wrong but it's a word that not, i don't use every single day uh, but these two materials that's the one we gotta look to fix this kind of material most of plastic like this other one right here you guys will see it right here in the back let me show you um Look what it says. No, do, 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 do. Okay, it says plastic. But you see plastic. You guys see the little star right here. That little star. That little stars means mean something, right here. <clears throat> you see, not recommended to styrofoam, foam, rubber, or the same plastic we're talking about, polyethylene, or whatever it is that. Uh, again, I'm sorry for my pronunciation. I'm not familiar with this word. In polypropylene plastics, and again, I'm sorry for the pronunciation, I'm, I'm saying the, the wrong way, but you know, this one is not recommended for that. Now, when the guy use this one, they use a mixture between the super glue gel and the uh, baking soda together. It may it, it, it do kind of reaction that uh, it can uh, bond real good. To these kind of surfaces um, well we're gonna start doing the setup let me uh, set up the camera and everything and we're gonna start doing this right now 